a 120 volt top bull inverter now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing well. Just a quick little video today, show you a little simple modification I performed on this top bull inverter, get a little more power out of it. That's right, don't try this at home. You could get injured or killed. You could destroy your inverter, your property, things like that. I do not recommend you try this. I'm just documenting what I did to increase the power on this inverter. But if you do decide to do this, proceed your own risk. I'm not responsible for what you do in your spare time. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'll show you the general control circuitry. I've got the power off on the inverter. Capacitors are discharged, so it's safe to point around and touch stuff right now. But a lot of inverters are built like this with this control circuit so you can adjust the currents and voltages, which is nice to find in this inverter. That means I can get a little bit more power out of it. On the control circuit right here, there's two different trim pots. One's for the voltage and one is for current. I'm just going to adjust the one for voltage today to increase the output voltage on this top bull inverter. So I'm going to hook up the meter, power everything up, and then show you adjusting the screw and show the voltage come up on this inverter. And just to show you where I'm starting from, remember from the other video, it puts out about 113 to stop. So you can see right here, the meter leads are in uh, 113 right there. So let me get a tripod set up and I'll try to show you the voltage coming up as I adjust it. I'm gonna turn it clockwise. Look at that. Coming on up. Keep coming, a little bit more. I'm gonna try to get to 123. That's where I like to set these inverters if they've got an adjustment. Stop at 123 if they're adjustable. That way you got a little bit of extra punch. So when you hit them big loads, the voltage don't drop. So just sit here and fine tune it to get exactly what you want. It's very sensitive. So right there, 123. Now let's see if we co-witness on the display. Let me move you down just a little bit. 122 on the display. Can you see it right there? 122. So now put a little load to it, make sure it holds, and simple as that. And just to show the sine wave before I put a load to it, 59.9 hertz, the same as it ran before I turned the voltage up a smidge on it. Zoom in, give you a little closer look. Everything looks fine. I'm just gonna do a little test hit. The voltage is probably gonna drop a little bit because the battery I'm using is a little slack on charge and I've only got uh, number four cables coming to this big monster inverter. And remember, Ohm's law applies. I turn the voltage up, the resistance is the same, but I'm pushing against it harder, so it's gonna command more wattage or more draw from the inverter. Just watch the DC voltage right here. It's probably gonna flatline due to that cabling and stuff, but just gonna show you that this voltage is not gonna drop down, you know, down in the 105s, 108s, anything like that. So just a quick hit. All right, there's a quick hit with the uh, resistive load voltage. Now I'm gonna check the uh, sine wave. And again, just another quick hit with the resistive load from the hairdryer. Just going to watch the sine wave. Shouldn't have any effect bringing the voltage up. Still running 59, 60 hertz, 59.9, 60 hertz. So give it just a quick hit. All righty. Many of your inverters of this design have that control circuit and potentiometers where you can adjust current, adjust voltages, things like that. That's a 120 volt top bull inverter now. Just one final thing to do. So I appreciate everybody watching today. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. There you go, complete the, complete the job. Right there, 120 volt unit now. Hope you earned a like from me today. Questions put in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, greatly appreciate a subscription from you. Thank y'all for watching the off Mountain Homestead. Until next time, I bet her the grid don't go. Y'all have a nice day. Be safe out there.